want to start out by welcoming everyone here and thanking you for coming. This is a really weird pole placement, the pole placement. Um, and so uh, we will get started this morning. Uh, Andre is going to play us a beautiful song, I'm sure. And so we will get started with that and then we will join in the call to worship. This uh, beautiful song is called In the Garden. Uh, Jay Gibson requested the song and uh, I'm so happy and I'm so uh, excited to be here with you and to be part of this amazing God.
said I forgot to introduce myself. So my name is Anna Hubbard, and I am the chair of the board for Camp Christian. If you'd like to serve on the board after today, just let me know. We are always taking um, more folks to join us in that. Would you join me in the call to worship? It's under the greeting on your bulletin. The Lord is with you. And with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Bring peace to this lodge and to all who will live, work, and play. We have gathered as the family of God to celebrate with Thanksgiving the building of the Gibson Lodge and to de dedicate it to the glory of God. Aware of our rich heritage, we celebrate the lives of those who in times past have devoted us or have devoted themselves to the upbuilding of Camp Christian and now surround us as a great host of witnesses to the work of God in this place. Holding this heritage in sacred trust, we come now to consecrate the Gibson Lodge and ourselves to the service of the world and to the people of God whom God loves. Let us then celebrate with joy this festive occasion with praise and prayer to God. Would you pray with me? Loving God, we gather today full of excitement and joy at seeing old friends and new friends. As we gather to dedicate the Gibson Lodge, for many of us, we have called Camp Christian home for days, weeks, months, maybe even years of our life. And now, Creator God, maker of all things new, you have brought new life to this place for new people to experience your transformation, love, fellowship and to discover the special place we call Camp Christian. As we gather together today, may the spirit of all who have lived, worked, played, rested, and worshiped in this place be among us. May your spirit guide us in all that we do. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm going to invite the camp director, Reverend Dan Bubach, to come and say a few words about the camp's history. Thank you, Anna. It's good to see everybody here today. I'm in my camp uniform, so if I'm underdressed, this is how I dress. So as far as I know, late 40s is when Camp Christian began. Jay was a camper out here. Um, he went one time, and then Mary Lou found out there were other girls here, and he couldn't come back. <laughs> That's the story I heard or made up. I can't that. So, um, but we are on holy ground and have been for many, many years. I believe in camp. I believe that uh, when we gather together, um, we become the perfect example of what the church should be. Sometimes it's just for a week, sometimes for a weekend, sometimes just for a day where we can share um, uh, the gifts that we have with one another, the community that we create, and the community that we go away with. It's because of camp that I joined the ministry as well as many other people who are here today. It's because of the power of, uh, of everything that we've shared. And as we know, camp has changed over the many years, so has the church. And so we continue to find ways to expand what we're doing, uh, to include as many as we can. I've had groups from AA all the way to Zen motiv mot meditationists. So we've got A to Z. The table that we set as a Christian church, Disciples of Christ, the table we set is big enough for everybody and everybody's welcome. And thank you for your many years of service and dedication to Camp Christian and Jay and Mary Lou, especially thank you. So thank you. We will have uh, brunch here after a little bit and uh, I'm just glad to see so many new friends and old friends and young friends and then some of the rest of you. So <laughs> thank you folks. And thank you, Dan, for all you do to keep this place looking so nice. Uh, obviously, we come today thankful to all of the generous donors listed on your program, but we come mostly to thank Jay and Mary Lou for their work. I thought maybe Dan would share it, but he didn't. So uh, the board was really on this trek of like building new buildings. We had phase one and we had phase two and Jay was fundraising for it and all was well. And then Good Friday happened like Good Friday often does. And we know that Howard Lodge burned down. 
and without missing a beat, at least at board meetings, or seeming upset that now funds that he had worked so hard to raise already were going to go to something else, Jay said, that's fine. We'll just build a new lodge with the money that we were on phase one with. And it was just this pivot that was graceful and generous, and he worked tirelessly to find friends and neighbors and churches, all the churches I think you've been to at this point, uh, to help uh, build the lodge and to do a new thing. And obviously on that Easter Sunday, we did not see the, the new lodge come to construction, but a year later, we knew that Easter came in the form of this lodge. And so Jay, we are so, so very thankful to you and your persistent doggedness and your faithfulness and your dedication to making sure that we can continue to do ministry here for all people and that we can do it in a way that is comfortable for adults and kids and all sorts of different walks of life. And so I wondered if you would like to give a response, but we definitely want to say thank you to you and Mary Lou first. just want to give the glory to God for being able to have the ability to have this lodge here today. Because if it wasn't for many of you who have helped generously to make this possible, it could never have happened. And I appreciate you have honored Mary Lou and I by being here just today. And I know there were several people because of graduations or birthdays or many uh, other reasons why wanted to be here but couldn't be here. And so you don't know how much the meaning of having all of you here has meant to myself and to Mary Lou. But uh, I would like to say this. Uh, over well it was back before we did uh, we broke we had the groundbreaking ceremony which uh, uh, was back in 2019 in September that uh, I had seen the floor plan of this lodge that really couldn't visualize what it was going to look like and uh, Bart uh, Boatwright was the builder of this lodge and I had never known him before but uh, I had heard by reputation that he had a very good reputation in Tulsa for building. And, and when Connie and Mark uh, McFarland, uh, the architects, designed this and put it together, why, when I saw the finished product uh, a year ago, because it was a year ago this month that Connie and Mark uh, uh, came out here and helped uh, open the boxes and put the furniture uh, in place and uh, and also put some pictures on the wall. And then uh, last Thursday, uh, I think most of you know that uh, Reverend Richard Ziegler, in many of his talents and gifts from God, has a gift of knowing how to decorate a room and make it look beautiful. So I want to give him uh, credit to putting the finishing touches uh, on this uh, beautiful lodge that uh, I am basically so humbled and proud of that uh, the bottom line is I just want you all to know that if it wasn't for all of you and the grace of God this never would have happened. Thank you. dedication I wanted to share a scripture with you it's from 2nd Chronicles 7 15 and 16 now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place for now I have chosen and consecrated this house so that my name may be there forever my eyes and my heart will be there for all time 
We're going to move into our time of prayer, of dedication and consecration. I asked a couple board members if they would lead us in that. So it will be a call and response. Um, and at the end of each call, we will say we dedicate Gibson Lodge. We didn't go over this, but maybe if you could start that piece so that they know that you're done with your <laughs> call. <clears throat> For the camp directors, staff, volunteers, campers, guests, and others who have called Camp Christian home, we, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the year-round staff and volunteers and the board who built this lodge from the ground up, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the donors and the builders who work tirelessly to ensure that this space be safe, accommodating, and comfortable for all, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For retreat guests who will stay here as they seek to grow closer to God and learn more about themselves in the process, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the laughter, joy, and fellowship that will spring forth from these walls, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the tears, heartache, heart conversations, and spiritual growth that will be held within these walls. We dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the new spiritual life that will be born here, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For those that will answer a calling to professional ministry after their stay here, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the love that will be shared, the meals that will be prepared, and the hearts that will be opened, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. For the God through whom nothing is impossible and is the cornerstone upon which this lodge is built, we dedicate Gibson Lodge. Let us pray. Eternal God, whom the heavens cannot contain, much less the walls of temples made with human hands, you have promised your special presence whenever two or three are gathered in your name to offer praise and prayer. By the power of your Holy Spirit, dedicate and consecrate Gibson Lodge. Bless us and all those here in spirit, past, present, and future, throughout all time and space, Sanctify what we do here, that this place may be holy for us and a house of prayer for all people. By the same Spirit, guide us and empower us to the work of your ministry, the proclamation of your word, the pouring out of prayer, and the singing of your praise. Where the lost are found and reminded of your love, where games are created and played, where worship is planned, your word studied, pranks performed in love, where gathering and truth-telling finds a place and so much more, more than we can even imagine on this day of dedication. <coughs> Protect Gibson Lodge from the wind, rain, fire, and any other destructive forces. Give it strength to hold on through tough times. Make it a place of refuge for all who enter through its doors. Grant it and its inhabitants peace. And above all, God of all creation, sanctify this place. Make it holy and claim it as yours. Amen. Amen. In some parts of the world, there is a custom of gathering in homes to ask God's blessing on those dwellings and upon those, all those who live, work, and visit there. In Exodus, the Israelites uh, marked their doors with blood so that the Lord would pass over their homes. But here we will mark the door, which I did, but we've walked on, so it might not be able to be seen, uh, with chalk as a sign that we have invited God into this place. Chalk is a substance made of common elements of the earth, and here we take a common substance and put it to holy use. Chalk will not permanently mar the dwelling as its image fades from view over time. Those who participated in its original placement will remember it and its purpose. in front of the door to stand for the Latin phrase meaning may Christ bless this dwelling. 
The letters are bracketed by 20 on the left and 21 on the right to remind us of this of the year of this ceremony. Later, I would invite you before you leave, if you have interest in that, to either yourself grab a piece of chalk and write a blessing for Gibson Lodge yourself, or because I was made aware we can't all maybe bend over, ask one of these beautiful children to write you a little blessing on the chalk. I didn't think that through very well, I apologize. Before we close and, benedict and give our benediction, I'd like to invite Eric Gray from the Oklahoma Disciples Foundation to say a few words about how we can continue the story of Gibson Lodge in Camp Christian. As Anna said, I'm Eric Gray with the Oklahoma Disciples Foundation. I'm the executive director. The Oklahoma Disciples Foundation does many things, but one of the things it does is manage the endowment money for the Christian church in Oklahoma. <clears throat> Disciples of great faith and foresight have established endowments through the years, and for the Disciples Foundation, it's been over 60 years in the Northeast area. Uh, those endowments generate a permanent stream of income for the beneficiaries of those uh, funds. Today we come and thank Jay and Mary Lou for their tireless effort in getting this building done, but we're also here to thank them because they have created an endowment with the Oklahoma Disciples Foundation for the ongoing maintenance, repair, and appearance of this building. So, again, disciples of great faith and foresight, and we thank you. That endowment's going to provide that stream of income in perpetuity. And anyone can contribute to that endowment to increase its size if they so desire. It's called the Camp Christian, J. Allen, and Mary Louise Gibson Lodge Endowment. Again, thank you for this beautiful building. presence with us in this place and in the world around us. Thank you for the many people gathered here today in person or in spirit who hold fond memories of Camp Christian. As the camp gains new life through the Gibson Lodge and the many generous donors, may your spirit always abide in it and through those who call it home for any length of time. Amen. Amen. As we depart from here today, let our love for this replace remain in our hearts and in this space. Peace be to this place and all who worship, work, play, and rest here. Peace be to those who enter and to those who go out, and peace be to you. Amen. Amen. Amen.